Pull the string! Pull the string! Now, what I mean when I say John Carpenter's last good movie, well, I mean that this was his last good movie. We fought absolute demand, the absolute end of the world. The government seized it and destroyed it. I'm a bit obsessive. I want you to find a brand for me. John Carpenter, what can be said about the guy that hasn't been said before? He's a fucking legend. And it's around this time every year that I rewatch one of my all time favorite movies, Halloween. And what else can be said about that flick that hasn't been said on YouTube before? That being said, check out my Halloween 6 video. With Carpenter's Apocalypse Trilogy, we got perhaps one of the best horror trilogies of all time, even though it's not necessarily like a linear storyline or anything like that. In my opinion, those flicks, we really got the filmmaker out of John Carpenter, even though, you know, a, little, a lot can be said about uh, different eras of his career. I mean, the guy has his action career, he has his horror movies, he has some comedies, the guy even has some dramas. But it may have been the conclusion of the Apocalypse Trilogy, where we kind of started to see his downfall, and I'm sad to say. And it was with Showtime's Masters of Horror, where, in my opinion, we got his last great film. With the film Cigarette Burns, we get kind of a detective murder mystery going on, or at least that's how it feels like at first. Udo Kier hires Norman Reedus to find an elusive film, a film in which an angel gets its wings cut off. And you know, it's a, it, it's a kind of like a legendary film, kind of like in Popcorn or something like that, where there's this like legendary film tied to some horrible event. And it's here it's all done pretty damn well, especially when Udo Kier has to prove that said film exists by showing him that he in fact has the the wingless angel, if you will, locked up in the next room. And it makes for some pretty goddamn shocking imagery. Something we've never really seen in any John Carpenter film, really. We are a part of the film, bound to the negative like soul to flesh. If it had been destroyed, we would know. And even though we don't get like a feature length film here, as it is a Showtime series, we do get one of the most effective films in that entire series. The brutality here is on point, and we see a much darker, cynical tone from John Carpenter than we've seen before. <laughs> The film has heavy vibes, as I said earlier, from kind of like the, like I said, popcorn, but it's kind of like that, but it's also more of an 8mm vibe. Remember how dirty that movie was? How raunchy it was? You get the same kind of feel here. And with Udo Kier, man, the masterclass actor, I mean, goddamn, the dude has the best scenes in this entire movie. Now, the story is once you see the film, you go crazy and you go on a rampage and shit like that. And whenever we see that actually happen towards the end, some of the best effects here by the way it is this whole thing is on point i really miss masters of horror i highly recommend cigarette burns for any fan of horror any fan of like detective murder mystery stuff like that as this kind of has it all wrapped up neatly in a bow in a quick i think it's like an hour or something that this movie was but in my opinion it is in fact john carpenter's last great film if you're not counting ghost of mars please subscribe like and share this video why don't you what do you think that the last great film from one of your favorite directors was what are some of your favorite underrated horror sequels let me know all of this down in the comments it's stancho ween